we're told your manhood gets robbed if you allow your woman to connect with other men. No, I define my own masculinity, not you. your man, Dr. B.O.A. You know, in this particular society, the definitions of manhood, the definitions of masculinity, the definitions of what a man should be, what a man shouldn't be, how a man should behave and how he shouldn't behave, should be pretty much etched in stone. But the issue is you have a lot of men who were raised in the home without a man. And so their outlook on masculinity, their outlook on manhood, their outlook on what they should do and shouldn't do, what's acceptable and what's not acceptable, is based on what they were taught by their mothers. And the issue with that is one thing. A woman is only going to teach you to be what she would want a man to be. Not what a man should be, but what she would want a man to be. And that's never gonna be what's best for you. Now, there are a bunch of new distinctions and definitions of modern relationships. Polyandry, polyamory, polygyny, polygamy, which is a pretty old one, but all of these definitions are based on a man having multiple wives, except one, polyandry. It's just an open source, non-monogamous, committed relationship. Now I want you to think about the oxymoronic nature of that. Non-monogamous commitment. Men go for that. Let me correct that. Boys go for that. Let's take a listen to this video, man. We'll come back and chop it up on a real tip. What would you say on your end was the most difficult part of being in, a, yeah. in an ethical, non-monogamous relationship? Society. I think men in particular, we get told if anybody, anybody else looks at or gets any close to your wife or your girl or anybody that you're dealing with in an intimate way, then that's not your girl. And we're told that, like, you're not a man if you're not protecting the home, right? Your manhood gets robbed if you allow your woman to connect with other men. The response from family and friends and, and even the, uh, the internet was a lot of tax on my manhood. And so then when your peers are like, you're in this style of relationship, oh, you're not a man. That's not your girl. Like, she's not... She's not with you. It, it was tough to navigate and, and to realize that, like, no, I define my own masculinity, not you. I define my own masculinity. Just like, you know, I define my own definition of financially well off. You can't. If you're poor, you're poor. There's no way you can tell yourself that you're financially well off when you're poor. There's no way you could tell yourself you're in shape if you're not in shape. If you got more flab than you got abs, then you can't say you're in shape. But the problem in this society is no one wants to accept the fact that they have work to do to become what they want to be. So you have people that need to get in shape. They just say, no, I don't need to get in shape. This is how I am. They give it a label. The label's accepted. More people do it. You have somebody who ain't getting to no money because they lazy. You, they come up with a definition for it. Other people who do the same thing, they embrace the definition. Okay, it's acceptable in society. But here's the problem with masculinity. It's been here since the beginning of time. And polyandry doesn't represent masculinity. Now, when you hear a young man say these things as if something is wrong with them, he acts as if something's wrong with a man saying, I don't want my woman to be intimate with any other man. Here's the thing. If she's going to do it, she's going to do it. But you are a fool of a man. If you just embrace the fact that she's going to do it, what is the purpose in having her as your woman? Would you let any man around just drive your car? Would you let any man around just have access to your bank account? Would you give any man around your social security number? Would you just meet any man around and give him a kidney? Tell me the one other thing that you would claim as your own that you would just let other men have access to. I'll tell you, nothing that you value. So if you don't value the woman enough to put her in the same boxes, the other things you value, 
What's the purpose in claiming her as your woman? She is not yours. All of those things that you don't share, those are yours. This thing that you share is not yours. Here's the problem. You have to deal with this as a beta male simp mangina in a relationship with a woman who forces this upon you and says, if you want to be with me, this is what you have to accept. When you accept that, you're accepting the fact that you that's not your woman. You don't have a choice. You don't get to sit here and act like you're okay with it and that's why she's doing it. No, she's doing it because she want to do it and you're okay with it because that's what she told you it takes for her to be with you. And here's the problem. Either you're marrying a woman or wifing up a woman who doesn't want to be with one man ever or you're wifing up a woman who just doesn't want you to be that one man. And more times than not, it's because you're not the man who she wants to be with in that type of relationship. Here's what you have to understand, young homie. If this is what your girl is telling you, you ain't breaking her back with the Mac attack in the sack, homie. You ain't doing it. And you have to accept that. And stop trying to act like you're redefining your masculinity. No, you're sacrificing and compromising your masculinity is what you're doing. So when you say you're redefining and you define your own masculinity, what masculinity? Where is it? Because this don't represent it. You men have to stop thinking that you can come and change the way things are. Because things are already going in the wrong direction and you may want to perpetuate them further into that direction. It's time to reel things back. There is no need for men to perpetuate this idea that you have to just acquiesce to a woman's demands. That's the only reason women are able to do the things they're able to do right now is because you guys accept it. But what is her value to you for you to accept that? You must be broke, uneducated, and you must also lack any connection to any real masculine man in your past. You couldn't have had a father in your life. You couldn't have had a grandfather in your life. You couldn't have had any real uncles in your life. You probably didn't pay sports, didn't have a coach in your life. When you look around in this particular society, what makes you think that you get to claim masculinity when you're doing the thing that nobody else wants to do? Because we understand the effect that will have on our own self-perception. When you perceive yourself as a man, when you accept this, that's just something you're telling yourself. As a matter of fact, it's something that you've accepted that your woman told you or your mama told you or your grandmama told you. The bottom line is a woman can do whatever she want to do. Man, listen, we don't handcuff women. We don't try to control women and tell them what they can't do. But the one thing we will do is determine whether a woman is worthy to be in our lives. And any woman who wants this with you is not worthy to be in your life. You're not that dude. I tell men all the time, you may have a submissive woman who just not be submitting, who may just not be submitting to you. And that's cool. Sometimes the chemistry isn't there. And then you have to let her go. But you never, ever accept something like this. Because this is not manhood, masculinity, or any of the things that we would want young men to grow up to be. This is beta male simmanginitis. Here's a man who says a part of this woman is better than none of her. She gets to live her best life. Why? Because you are willing to play this game. And they say two can play this game. But only a beta male cell mangina wants to let her play and you don't play. And you can tell by what this guy is saying. He's only concerned about what people think about him. This is a one way street. This is a one way polyandrous relationship. He is not willing to engage. He's just willing to accept her engage. Will Smith, anyone? This is not something that you need to deal with. You don't have to. There is no woman that is so valuable that you need to accept this. You need to work on increasing your own self-value because otherwise you're going to be put in a powerless position like this where a woman is telling you, I'm going to do whatever I want to do, but I'm going to come home to you. And her saying that is her right. You accepting that is also her right because you ain't got no rights. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you men have to say. I'm out. Sims claiming that they pimps, but they not though. Alpha sub betas down, it's the motto. Suckers claiming to be players, but they not though. Alpha sub betas down, it's the motto. Tricks acting like they max, but they not though. Alpha sub betas down, it's the motto. Betas claiming to be alpha, but they not though. Now I'm
I'm not gonna tell you, man, that you shouldn't value your woman at all. A woman does have value, but you can't overvalue her. 